Welcome back. So TikTok is the ubiquitous social media video app owned by the Chinese tech company ByteDance. Well, sort of owned by ByteDance because there is no big business in China not controlled by their brutal authoritarian regime. And there's two big issues with that. First, as a new report just confirmed, all the data from TikTok goes right back into the hands of the communist regime. It's basically a global surveillance tool to gather user data. That's why Federal Communications Commissioner Brendan Carr recently sent a letter to Apple and Google urging them to remove TikTok from their app stores. In his letter, Carr wrote, At its core, TikTok functions as a sophisticated surveillance tool that harvests extensive amounts of personal and sensitive data. He also warned that TikTok's data harvesting and the Chinese government's access to it is, quote, an unacceptable national security risk. The second issue with TikTok is that China manipulates the app's algorithm to show Americans things that are harmful to our society and democracy. While TikTok in America is all twerking teenagers, in China it's diligent students working to be scientists. The establishment here has gone nuts over Russia meddling in our democracy. Well, this is China meddling with our society. And by the way, what's stopping them from making the jump to our elections next? This is real. This is happening. Right now, 25% of US TikTok users consider the app their source for news. TikTok is a massive problem for America, and it's time we dealt with it. Here to react, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator, great to see you. Um, you've always been very strong on China, very strong on big tech. They come together in this TikTok issue. What's your position on TikTok? Commissioner Carr is so correct in how he frames this because, Steve, it is both a national security threat and a surveillance threat to millions of Americans. And think about what the Communist Chinese Party, who has a board seat with Bike Dance, what they're doing with this information. They are building a version of the virtual you of each and every individual that is on this platform. They're capturing images. They're capturing videos. Now, what do they plan to do with that information in the future? Well, you could see them do what we have just recently caught the Chinese trying to do for the past decade. That is to infiltrate the SEC, the Federal Reserve, our nation's right. banking system, and try to do a takedown. So we know what they are up to. This is something that is a, a position for them. They can build this repository of information. They can spy on individuals. They can go by farmland next to our military installations and our critical uh, supply chain facilities. They can put up towers. They can use these towers that are equipped with Huawei equipment to surveil yeah. aircraft that are coming and going from military bases and also to build that base of what is happening with our critical infrastructure. I mean, look, they don't let the Chinese regime, they don't let our American tech companies operate in China. Why do we let theirs operate here? Do you think TikTok should be kicked out of America? Well, this is one of the reasons that President Trump had said they ought not to be able to operate here. It is why I, along with others, have had amendments to the Defense Authorization Act to remove TikTok from our military members' phones because it is that surveillance tool. Now, as you know, I have moved forward legislation this week, the Kids Online Safety Act, which would make it more difficult for companies like TikTok that are doing data mining, that are surveilling, that are harvesting this data, that are selling this data to operate because it brings transparency and stricter guidelines to which they're going to have to mm -hmm. adhere. So that will make this market less attractive for them and more difficult. Chinese companies that are, as you said, partly owned by the Chinese Communist Party, need to have to obey by the same rules, regulations, and compliances that American companies have to abide by.
Well, th Senator, thank you so much. By the way, it's gr I mean, you're really focused on all this stuff, and, and yes. we all really appreciate that. Senator Blackburn, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.